and welcome to what I'm going to try and do is a weekly vlog. Am I going to do it? Who knows? So my aim is for YouTube at the moment because I really want to get back into YouTube because I did really enjoy it when I did it. Not that I did much on that, mind, because yeah, but since I've got really got into TikTok, I thought, no, I want to get into YouTube again as well. So I'm going to try every Sunday to upload a weekly vlog. So this is me starting this week's weekly vlog on Tuesday. <laughs> but hey-ho, go start somewhere. So I'm going to take you through what I do week to week on my maternity leave. Or at least I'm going to attempt to take you through if I remember to film. Because let's be honest, it's not that easy to remember. As always, I mean, if you do follow me on TikTok, you would know that every morning without fail, we go on a daily walk. She's hidden in there. We go on a daily walk just to get the dog out, get some fresh air, we're out half past eight, nine every morning, and then we start our day. So today on the agenda, we are going to a um, story and, and singing session, like baby group. So I'm gonna try and remember to film a little tiny clip of that. Obviously I'm not gonna film loads of it because we wanna get into the group. And then we're gonna start some Christmas shopping. So I'm gonna take you with me there too. I'll try. I forget to film these things, so that is my aim for today anyway. Um, the rest of the week then, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy sticking around with me for the week. <gasps> my week on maternity leave, because I am currently on maternity leave. Because I've got this little one who is six months old. Or nearly six months old. <laughs> Where does the time go? Every day, more or less, that I come down this path in particular, there's always, always a robin here somewhere. And I don't care what anybody says, I do honestly believe that it's my grandmother. Like, she would sit up here and she would tweet at me and then as I'm walking down this path, she'd be like following me down. So we'll see. You have been watching my videos on this page um, since the start or like joined on later on or whatever. I obviously have been posting videos about my aplastic anemia um, journey which was a hell of a journey and I'm nearly four years on now from from that experience as such. <laughs> it was an experience. Um, so I think it is time for me to switch up the page a bit and it'd be quite nice for people who do stumble across my Aplastic Anemia videos to see life beyond it. So that's what I'm going to do from now on is show life beyond Aplastic Anemia um, and what four years on looks like for me. So if you want to um, stick around to see what my life is like, you know what to do. Subscribe. Look at this. I've just come across. It looks like some sort of like ritual has been happening here. Oh god. Yeah, Griff, let's go. Come on. Let's go. done shopping's done i didn't get much of it on camera because i'm too shy <laughs> she is now there fed and nappy changed i do want to go get a cake because i am very close to 10k followers on tiktok and i want to get a cake because <laughs> like it's a big celebration for me so i'm going to do that now on my way somewhere and apparently there's been quite a big accident around the area that I'm beheading to so I need to find a bit of a detour now. Yeah, that is today. I, we're going to see the fireworks tonight so I'll try and um, get some of that as well and then that's my Tuesday done. <laughs> You'll have to excuse the state of me. It's now Tuesday and I am back where I started yesterday on um, another morning walk. I do this every morning, um, unless I really can't go. Um, but if if I'm at home, obviously, I will be on the morning walk. Oh, I've got a bit of a cold as well. Well, I've had it for about a week now, but it seems to not be getting any better. Busy day yesterday, not so busy today. I mean, the plans, we're gonna visit my mother. It was a birthday yesterday, but 
um, if you remember me saying there was an accident on the road for me to get home, um, which meant I couldn't go back out to see my mother because it was a birthday, because obviously the place was just gridlock. Anyway, so we're gonna go see her today. I need to pop to Aldi to get some nappies for this one. And just overall have a chill day. And I'm gonna clean a bit of the house really, because um, yes, it's a mess. Like I, I try to keep on top of keeping it clean. And then all of a sudden, like, I don't know, I turn around, wake up in the morning and it's mess. <laughs> it's like somebody comes in, like the elves come in at night and, and like mess up the house or something. But anyway, that's, that's today's plans. I'll try and film as much as I can. Um, but there's not much happening, so it's not going to be very entertaining, really. It's just what we get up to on a casual Wednesday of maternity leave. <laughs> currently in Tesco on the hunt because I'm reaching 10k on TikTok I'm gonna do a cake video I think I've got the goods this one is outdoors which is good really <laughs> So I can't say I've done a very good job of um, taking you along this week. <laughs> I had so many plans to film yesterday um, and I haven't filmed a thing yesterday. So we're now on Friday. I'm going to a Christmas fair today. Did I say that right? Christmas fair. I'm going there today and I'm um, obviously taking the middle one. Santa's going to be there. So I'm going to try my best to film it. God knows if I will. Because look, we're new with this, right? So I'm trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's Friday. The weekend is quite a busy one as well because um, I do a bit of photography and I've got my Christmas mini sessions. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can film that as well. well probably won't. <laughs> I'm an amateur, right? I'm an amateur at this. So yeah, let's see what we get up to today. Oh, he's such a good boy. She's over there at the minute. Good little plate. Yeah. Addy. Hey. We are out on our daily walk. Look at her. <laughs> this is so bloody cute. So I'm out on the daily walk. So I thought I'd have a little chat about the video I posted this morning on um, on my TikTok. So I posted a bit about money on uh, like finances and things. Just because I find it really interesting and I thought, you know, Maybe other people might find it interesting as well. So what I was talking about this morning is the fact um, that I've worked out how much overpaying my mortgage would be. So just long story short, my monthly payment currently is like £540 or something like that. Um, £550 or whatever it is. And I got a 30-year mortgage. It's, well, 28 now because two years has been paid since I've remortgaged or whatever. So I worked out how much... Like, it would help, like, save me if I overpaid by £300 a month. Like, I can't afford it, no. Like, but I was thinking maybe when I go back to work, maybe I could work it out. Um, and so if I paid £800-odd a month for my mortgage, this would cut my interest payment in half um, for the term. And it would drop from 28-year mortgage to 15 like, how mad is that? If you want to see more about this and how I explained it, head to the TikTok because I, I did like a little breakdown thing of it. So it makes a bit more sense. But it's really, really interesting. Like, okay, obviously, I probably might not be able to afford an extra £300 a month. But, like, because I put a lot into my savings, if I cut £300 out of my savings, I put it towards paying my mortgage back, then, like, I could pay it off in 15 years. Like, imagine being mortgage-free in 15 years rather than 28. It's mad, isn't it? I mean, I won't be because um, I've only got three years left of this rate, which is 3.4. And we all know the rates are horrible at the moment. And um, plus, when I, yeah, I'm hoping to move house so my mortgage is going to increase. But the idea is there. Like, it's good to know, isn't it? If I don't happen to move for whatever reason, like in 15 years' time, I could potentially pay it off. But again, obviously the rate and things. But really interesting. Interesting stuff. The back here, I do love this walk. It's nice and chilled. It's just very, you know, 
picturesque and I've got to watch what I'm walking because I'm going to trip up. <laughs> the wellies are back in full swing because it's just that time of year. Look at today's outfit of choice for Addy for the Christmas um, Christmas fair. So I'm going to go for this cute little dress from m &S. We had when she was born, so it's three to six, so it should fit her now. Got a pair of tights, and then I got, oh, look at this cute cardigan to go with it. But look at this. Oh, so this is what she's going to wear today. Love it. What's this noise? She's so noisy at the moment, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Addy, look. Addy, she, oh, look at this dress. Addy. Oh, she's the cutest little thing. Oh, I can watch it over there. <laughs> this is our outfit of the days. So I'm in some red trousers from TikTok shop. Still not quite happy with how I look, but hey ho. So I'm in that. Addy Mai's in a nice little dress. Oh, ready for the Christmas fair. Christmas fair. I only got a few clips, so it was quite like packed, like not packed, but it was quite busy in there. So I didn't film too much. Um, and then Adi decided she wanted to cry, and everybody was laughing. <laughs> well, not laughing, but they were saying things like, um, "Oh, she'd be part of the choir now." <laughs> it's just quite funny. Excuse me, it was quite funny. Um, but I bought two rings, two pound each. So that's, I love that, two pound each, and then um, some cakes which I show you when I get home, and some wax melts. And I did have a hot dog, which I think I did get a clip of. But yeah, right, I'm off home now, because it's getting a bit dark. Got these two for a pound each, so two pound for some lovely sweets. And then I got some cake, got some carrot cake and school cake, but like a Christmassy version, which were £1.50 each, so that was three pound. Bargain. And then I got a pack of five, so five different wax melts. They all like there's three in a box for six pound. So I got five of them, all different smells. All in all, good little trip. Right then, here we are. I set up my Christmas mini session. So I got the tree, the backdrop. I'm not sure about this backdrop, mine, but it's a bit late now. And then, so they're going to be sitting there under the tree, and I got some little milk jars for there. What are we thinking? I think it's quite cute. Let's see how it goes now. And I'm dressed in my Christmas jumper with my Christmas hat. <laughs> I am home from my Christmas mini session. That went quite well actually. I was a bit unsure with my setup, but I have to show you when I start editing for the photos now, I'll have to show you um what they look like because I'm very happy. So yeah, I just hate like oh gosh. <laughs> I just hate like disappointing anyone, so I didn't want anybody turning up and looking at it and thinking, oh gosh, I don't want them photos. But nobody did, obviously, and everybody was so lovely, and it was great. It was great. So I'm going to edit some photos now because Addy and James are still out, so they'll probably be out till about five ish. So yeah, I'm going to edit some of the photos and hopefully get some done out the way before tomorrow's sessions. Well, I make myself a cup of tea. Lovely, jubbly. It's the worst mind, isn't it? Like when when you know like people are expecting something of you. Obviously, because they book um, Christmas minis with me. Yeah. yeah, so people obviously book Christmas minis um, with me expecting really nice Christmas photos, isn't it? Because, you know, why would you book with somebody if you didn't like their photos? Is it? I don't know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, so the expectation, like I'm, I'm a terrible self-critic. Like I will constantly just knock myself down and think that it's not good enough. But I think that's like... With any photographer, isn't it? They just want, like, they want everyone to have the best photos. So, yeah, I'm gonna get to editing them. Got my cup of tea. Let's see how they turned out. Not being, um, not be a thing or anything, but um, it's quite nice actually being at home by myself. And I can just, I'm gonna have my cup of tea, nice and warm. I'm gonna put on the telly and watch a bit of YouTube or Married to First Sight Australia season ten. I'm nearly finished it, and oh my gosh, 
the drama. And while I edit these photos in peace, like I can't get over it. It's great. Sorry, I could do this. I'm doing this to cover their faces. But look how cute. I'm happy with these. Yeah, happy with how these are going. Oh. Well, that's a wrap. This is the outcome of the last session. <laughs> it's not tidy anymore. Not tidy. <laughs> Time to pack it all up now and go home. Oh god, look at that. That looks just it doesn't look like that in the photos, I promise you. Look at this though. I took photos of my little one first thing. She's so bloody cute. Oh my gosh. Gonna pout in. Ah. Oh. I think that was pretty successful. I had two full days, so I had six people each day. Um yeah, went quite well. So it's time to pack everything up now and I edit in edit when I get home. But I don't think I'll edit much today. I finished yesterday's ones. Um but yeah, today's gonna take me a bit longer. So I'm going to put a little montage now of me taking everything down. And then I, that's it for this week. And then I'm going to try again next week. Hopefully I would have uploaded this tonight on Sunday night. But <laughs> don't hold your breath. <laughs> Maybe Monday. But thank you if you've watched. And I will see you next week. Bye.